Nitel and guys welcoming you back to yet another video. Um, in this video, uh, another video where I'm going to share about why is Swamiji an avatar. So I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. Okay, so this is the second video I'm making on this. Uh, why is Swamiji an avatar? Something that is a proof that he is an avatar. Not only an avatar, but a Purna avatar. Purna means complete, an avatar in its completion. So one dimension, one fundamental thing uh, which I realized about the importance of being an avatar, Swamiji shared about it also in Puranas and all that they talk about it, is the capacity of a being to radiate consciousness, obviously that is enlightenment, but in the way that any being can relate to. Each being will relate to a cer certain dimension of consciousness. It will be, they will be more favorable to connect to a certain dimension of consciousness, of, of expression of consciousness. Some of them, it will be more about understanding, knowledge. Some of them, it will be more about emotions, bhakti, music, um, beauty, and all these things. Some other people, it will be more towards uh, being oriented people like experience, you know, they want to feel, they want to experience their consciousness within their body. And, um, and like that, there are many ways of relating and engaging with consciousness until we have the experience and we get fully established into that. And a Purna avatar is a being which allows, which has all paths open, means any being can come and feel connected to because he all the doors are open he allows all the he he's he's he radiates consciousness in such a way that all the doors are available whether you're interested in knowledge or emotion fulfillment fulfillment through knowledge fulfillment through emotion fulfillment through being all these these doors are available because he is radiating that much and that is called a purna avatar um one thing also I realized is Swamiji introduced us about the dimensions, right? Each one of us. The length, breadth, uh, depth, uh, kala or time. Time is a poor uh, translation. Space. And now he's revealing more. Nitya um, to eternity. And uh, yes, anyway, so there's more. But if we take these five, these five dimensions are available in us. They exist in us simultaneously. Somebody who says, oh, no, I'm more a knowledge type of person, that's not true. You might have consciously decided or you might have decided at some point, if you're no longer conscious of that decision, why you would, have, you would prioritize the length dimension, the knowledge dimension, and the logic dimension of your life. You might have decided to invest more of your lifetime energy into that. But that does not make you, oh no, I'm not, I don't, I'm not an emotional person, or I, I don't connect to breath, depth, time, and space. Uh, there's no such thing. All dimensions are available. You decide how much lifetime energy you want to engage in each until the completion happens and you radiate all of them. So what I realize, I realize is that there's no such thing as, oh no, I'm more length, or I'm more breath, I'm more depth. Yes, initially we would have done that, we would feel like that because uh, in the past, we made decisions that we are not aware of, we forgot, which made us decide to invest more life, time, and energy into one of these dimensions. But that doesn't mean that you cannot awaken the other one. So never feel that, oh, no, I'm not a musical type of person, or I'm not a, a logic type of person, I, I, I don't understand things very well, or no, I don't, I'm not an emotional person, or oh, I'm not a guy who experiences much in terms of, you know, I cannot sit in meditation and experience uh, consciousness or do yoga and experience bliss in my veins and so that thing is not it's not true it's not true and purna avatar is the name is, is a proof of that all the dimensions are available not only it's it's important but i personally cognize now that there's no way you can have complete completion without completing with each of your dimensions there's no way you can you 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 can you have to complete each of your dimensions you have to be in completion with each of your dimensions in order to have the complete completion. 
it's impossible to be completely complete without having com without being complete with your emotions or without being complete with your cognition. It's not possible. Um, so that's what I realized, and that's one of the reasons why Swamiji is such a is such a, a blessing because he allows all of these things to be brought to your awareness and allows you to complete with all of your dimensions for you to realize the fullness of what you are of that pure super consciousness and that is amazing um he you know he gives the knowledge he gives the the, the emotional fulfillment he gives the de the fulfillment in depth um and he, he guides us towards experiencing time and space so it's like it's amazing and he keeps expanding all the time so yes, that's what I wanted to share in this video. Um, so that's a very important thing. We need to complete with each dimension of us. There's no question of saying, oh, I'm more like this, I'm more like that. No, you might decide to be more like that, but that doesn't mean that you cannot be otherwise. It's just a conscious decision. So that's what I want to share in this video. Um, put you, if you have any questions, write them down below in the comments, like, subscribe, Check the description below as well, a lot of nice links and content. And with this, I'll see you guys in another video. Eternal.